Hey guys, it's Sansuki and welcome to my beginner's guide to Pills of Eternity. And in this video I'll be showcasing the wizard class. Okay, so I've made a wood elf wizard. And the reason I chose wood elf is because they get, uh, their ra actually their racial ability is called distant advantage. and they get, Which means they get plus 5 accuracy, deflection and reflex against distant enemies. I'm not sure actually how far the distance is, but basically if you're getting attacked by uh, ranged units or you're attacking people in melee from a distance, which you will be doing fairly often as a wizard, you'll get a bonus to accuracy with your stuff. So that will come into play very often, which is actually pretty cool. So that's why I chose that um, particular race. It doesn't really matter what race you are, but wood elves do make good wizards. Um, now, the wizard class is primarily an AoE damage and AoE disable class, and so what I've done is put 18 into intellect and 18 into might because I need big area of effects, long durations, and high damage. I put some points into dexterity for a little bit faster cast speed and nerfed my constitution a little bit, which probably won't bother me that much because I'll just um, play smart and use positioning so to try and reduce the amount of times that I get attacked. Now, um, wizards uh, have a grimoire, which is what they store their spells in, and at level 1 you get four choices of spells, and I usually get the same four spells at level 1. The, the most important spell you want is Slicken. Uh, I reckon every, every person playing a level 1 wizard should pick this spell, because it fucking rocks. What it does is it has, it's an AoE spell, and it um, makes enemies slip over twice, so... <coughs> by default, they slip over for 2 seconds, and then, then, because it's a persistent AoE, it lasts for 8.4 seconds, so it's possible for, I think it's possible for you to hit people twice. So, um, with my high intellect, it reduces it to 2.8, so that's really good, because it gives you um, a fair amount of disable. I think, if they slip over at the start of the spell, you get like up to about 8.4 to 9 seconds to sail because they have to actually get up after they, they've been knocked down prone. I love that spell. It is probably the best wizard spell, in my opinion. It is awesome. I've also chosen Fan of Flames, which is pretty ridiculous. It's a cone burst spell. When you have maximum intelligence, look how big that is. So this is actually pretty hard to aim. That's, that's like larger than a quarter of a 360 degree circle. So this one require it casts directly from your feet. So you have to position yourself properly before casting it. However, um, one of the good things mm -hmm. is because yeah. the intelligence bonus is foe only AOE, if I'm standing this far back and the, and the enemy is in the yellow as well as my allies, it's not going to hurt my allies. So you've got to be careful about that. I've also chosen Thrust of the Tattered Veils, which is a single target spell. It does 19 to 35 crush damage, which is um, because I've got a high might. And it has a long interrupt, so it interrupts an enemy for one second. And I prefer this to middle letters, minor missiles, because that one does shitty damage against even moderately good armor. And I've also chosen Archimere's Dazzling Lights, which um, it dazes enemies, which makes them more susceptible to my Fan of Flames, because that attacks reflex. So this is, um, I think, daze reduces reflex, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, it doesn't actually. Reduces their dexterity, so that yeah, it reduces their dexterity and perception by two. So it slightly reduces their reflex and it makes them less accurate. So either way, it's not a, not too bad of a debuff. There's a few other choices that you, you can mm. probably get, such as Eldritch right. Dame and a few other things. But that's what I prefer. Mm. They're my preferred spells as a level one mm. wizard. And they also have the Arcane Assault ability, which you can use twice every encounter. It's a short range ability, so you can only cast it up to about that distance, and you can cast it on top of your allies as well. Huh? I really like that um, that ability. So I'm going to go Let's fight these wolves. What you need? Send Kalisha in first, because as a wizard, you want to be out the back. Okay, so in this fight, I'm not going to use yeah. any of my per day spells, because you only can cast two per rest at level one, and then when you're level two, you can cast two level one and two level two spells. So... Um, you have to be careful about when you want to use these, like I was explaining with the Druid in an earlier video. So I'm going to stick to casting Arcane Assault for this encounter. Yeah. Okay, so now that they're dogpiling on top of Kalisha, I'm going to use this spell. Okay, I've knocked down one wolf, knocked down huh? the other, and I'm going to cast the other Arcane Assault. Now I'm just going to attack with my wand. Okay, so I didn't even take any damage. Sure. Okay, let's uh, not forget the berries. I usually forget to loot the berries in some of my videos. Sure. 
Sure. So let me press the clock. Now just um, for those who are interested in a tip, there is actually a uh, hidden item in this map somewhere. So if you've got, um, I think at least one point in mechanics, you can probably find it. So have a look around. Um, I'll, hidden, hidden compartments, will you have to be in stealth mode to be able to find them. And they'll show up as a purple, um, or pink actually, or pink highlight. So have a snoop around the map and see if you can find it. The weapon is, act oh the, sorry, I just spoiled what it is. Um, the, item it, it, the item itself is pretty funny. What a surprise. Barful went hunting. At least he left the water skins. Come on. Spark. Okay, so your PC will always be attacked first in this battle here because uh, she is always the closest to the enemies. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to move out of the way. I'm probably going to get hit by this guy's arrow, What's actually. So I'm going to knock down huh? that guy. Yeah! Okay, so now he should retarget. He's not retargeting. Okay. Oh, there we go. So I, I've managed to. No, he's still attacking me. What you need? Huh? What you need? I need to take this guy down because I can't. Oh no, there we go. He's finally changed target. Shit. Almost. This guy's got a shield, so he's a bit harder to hit. All right, so now let's sort need? this guy out. Oh my god, the misses! I still have one of those left. Almost. Come on, we have to get back to camp. Yeah. Okay, now I'm actually going to use my right. spells in the next battle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use both of my wizard spells in this one. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I want to go into stealth. What you need? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Kalisha to be seen. And now mm -hmm. I'm going to use uh, Slicken because it rocks. Okay, so I've got to be careful with this spell. Even though the uh, your friendly unit selection circle doesn't highlight um, in the outer ring, it will still affect them because this is not a damage spell. So you need to make sure that it's on the edge of their selection circle like this. So probably I want to move her a bit closer so I can get all three of those huh? enemies. Whoops. Okay, so there we go. Uh, oh, there's a bit of a bug with the VFX there. Okay, so as you can see, it's drops and grease on the ground. Those guys have fallen over. That guy hasn't fallen over huh? yet. Now, I'm going to try and line up a fan of flames, but I have to go back. Okay, so that should not... Oh, no, that will hit Kalisha. That should not hit Kalisha. All right, we'll see how we mm -hmm. go. So as you can see, I did not hit Kalisha with that spell. I hit the, both of these guys. 34 burn damage and that was a graze so it actually does pretty high damage that guy has actually fallen over as you can see come on Kalisha hit him Christ all right there we go my PC took ended up sorting that out now I'm gonna use the knockdown all right so that that is how you aim AoE disable spells, that's how you use um, spells with friendly fire, you got to position yourself properly. But I wouldn't advise blowing these spells on this encounter in the actual game, like when you're playing it, because there's a fight up ahead that you'll need them in over here. Alright, uh, so that's my demonstration for the wizard, now I'll uh, level them up and show you some of the other spells. I'm going to turn I roll 20s on. 20s, add experience. Level four. Okay, so as the wizard levels up, <coughs> you get to choose another level one spell at level two. Um, so the remaining ones are Chill Fog, which is a it's like an AOE damage spell. It does it, blind, it blinds enemies in a in a small AOE. Um, that one's not too bad. This one's actually buggy in the game at the moment, so I wouldn't recommend using that because it can cause uh, crashes and stuff like that. Eldritch Aim buffs your accuracy. So this is good in a larger battle when you want to do more damage with your spells. You class that first and then start casting damage spells. Fleet Feet just allows you to get away easier and, and gives you some disengagement defense. I don't like that spell because I don't get into those situations. Ghost Blade is kind of like Fanders of Flames, except it uh, hobbles enemies and does pierce damage instead. Jolting Touch is like a melee touch attack, and it, it um, jumps between enemies behind them. So um, you have to be in melee range to cast that though, so that, that is a bit compromising, so I don't really like that. Same with this one here, you have to touch the enemy and it freezes them. 
or it does freeze damage to him. Another one, both of those you have to be in melee range for, and that's generally not a good idea as a wizard. This one's like a weak damage, um, small interrupt range spell, and I, I don't think it does enough damage to justify peeking. And this one is Spirit Shield, which is a buff spell. It gives you 3 DR and 30 concentration once again. Uh, it's only good if you're doing a Gish Wizard, and I don't really recommend that spell, neither with Wizard Double. Alright, uh, thanks for watching the video, guys, and look forward to the next one.